Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy VIP. I know I haven't seen you guys in a while, man. I want to really apologize. Um, I mean, I've I've really been busy lately with work and all that, but I gotta be honest. My tank, I don't I don't really think's been doing so well, and that's really why I haven't been taking any videos, cause a lot of my corals have um have just lost their color have just been dulling out lately and I really just couldn't figure out why like all my coralline algae was just dying off my corals seem to be like bleaching out and I was just trying everything man I was I switched back to the old salt I used to use uh, Red Sea Coral Pro and I went to the um, Aqua Vitro Salinity and that was I felt like it was working alright but I just I didn't know what was causing the corals to bleach out like that so I just went back to the Red Sea Coral Pro and I was just I don't know man I was trying a whole bunch of things and I mean right now my coral has been gaining a little bit of its color back and it's because I'm pretty sure it's because I raised the light fixture about eight nine inches off the water level so for all of you that have this light I mean I really didn't know I had it like two inches off the water and I guess it was just way too bright for the corals the LPS and everything on the lower end of the tank because I mean the SPS were doing fine on top but it's the LPS that was suffering so now it's been like three four weeks that I had this fixture raised and a lot of my coralline algae is coming back and I'm starting to see some uh, some re some just just some better coloration in my corals in general so Hopefully, this was the problem, that the uh, ATI power module was just a little bit too powerful for the, uh, for the corals, for the tank, just how close I had it to the water level. So, um, let me just show you guys the tank and show you guys what's been going on. I actually lost the Harlequin Tusk fish. I came home one day and... Um, found him on the floor in front of my tank or crusty he must have jumped out overnight so I was really pissed about that because I could have easily just took him out well I was planning on taking him out and bringing him to the pet store for some credit but he just happened to jump out the tank he just beat me to it man he just beat me to it it's what he would have came down to so I lost him but um he was eating all my Nasarius snails, crit, any any little cleanup crew, he ate them all. So I've been getting my cleanup crews back. I got some nice Nasarius snails, a bunch of them. I got my three cleaner shrimp back. I used to have four of them. He ate every single one of them. So I got the cleaner shrimp back. But um, let's take a look at the tank, show you a few things. <laughs> That's a new piece of coral I got right there. That's a um that's a chalice. It's called the Sprung Stunner for Julian Sprung. It's an ORA piece. This thing tentacles, sweeper tentacles at night are crazy. I mean, I didn't even know. If I would have known I probably wouldn't have bought it. But it under the LED blue at night, like when, when the little moonlights come on, it looks sick. It really glows. So I like that about it, but I mean, I really hate the fact that the sweeper tentacles are almost like a galaxia, but like two times longer. If any of you guys seen a galaxia coral, this thing is like, this thing sweeper tentacles beat that, like, no problem. I'd say a good, like, they extend like a good 8 to 10 inches sweeper tentacles at night on these bad boys. So, but, um, I don't know, let's just take a look at everything in general some new rock work. I switched it up not too long ago. 
I don't know if you can see on that piece of coal right there, that orange Sunset Monty, but that really lost some, uh, it just turned, it just bleached out out of nowhere. I don't know why, the thing just started bleaching out. So that's what I was talking about, about my coral losing color. This, um, this torch right here used to be gold. Now it's like a, I don't know, it's like a yellow now. It used to be gold with like purple, pink tips. Now it's like a yellow with white tips. You know, this, you could tell by this blasto right here, it used to be a real dark purple. Now it's just like, it's just real dull colors on it suck no, I'm just I don't know I just hope that the lighting has something to do with it and it's the colors will eventually come back you know um, I had that pink hammer lost that one completely that one's gone I got these SPS that are doing pretty well highlighter acro got that Monty Pour that's Looks a little dulled out lately. This guy seems to be doing well. This acro. That millipore seems to be doing well. Um, this favia kind of lost some color, dulled out. That thing right there used to be a branch full of fire, nice zoanthids, and lately at night I've been seeing copepods all over it, amphipods, like, like I'm talking about like 30, 40 amphipods just, just on that branch, and them little asterina stars all over it, and the things just disappeared like I, I don't know if the asterinas are eating it or the amphipods but I don't see the reason why there should be a colony of amphipods hanging out on there something's got to be going on they got to be eating on something on that branch whether it be the polyps themselves or what but as you can see if you look at my old videos that branch was full of polyps now it's like empty something ate them all off there I don't know what is that blue zinnia? There's some uh, some red mushrooms. No brain coral. He really lost color, but he's actually starting to get it back slowly. There's the gonopora. No recordias. This orange A can used to be a rainbow A can. It used to have all kinds of colors in it. Orange, green, blue, purple. When I first got it now, it's like a shitty looking orange. With it looks to be like white pastel color around the edges. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know how to get these colors back. Like I don't know if it's the lighting, like the spectrum of the bulbs that I'm using. I, I mean, I, I'm trying everything. I really don't know what's going on. If anybody has any suggestions or ideas, you know, just please, please feel free to comment. Let me know what you guys think is going on. If you guys have any experience with something like this happening. Because right now I'm running, in the fixture itself, I'm running two 14K, no, one 14K, one 12K, and four uh, blue pluses. So I don't know if I got the right spectrum in there. As of right now, I'm running two, four, one uh, aqua blue special from ATI. And one aqua blue from Geesman. And then I'm running the other four are ATI blue plus bulbs. So if any of you guys have any suggestions, let me know what's going on. Let me know what you think. Hopefully everything will gain its color and come back. Slowly make its way back. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.